Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, welcome to the God Solar 7 and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here to present a prophecy I got earlier this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today is April uh, 13th, uh, 2022. So um, join me in the King James Version Bible. Now, I have my teeth retainer in, so don't laugh, but um, I, I sound like I, I have a lisp, but that's what it is. Now, I opened the Bible right to the scripture. I love when he does this. So I'm going to be in 2 Corinthians um, chapter 11. Here's the Holy Spirit coming all over. Um, chapter 11, um, let's see, start at, where's my little arrow? Here we go. Uh, verse uh, 13, and I think I'm going to do 13 and 14. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, um, transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay, think about that and meditate on that right there, because that's where I think um, the strong delusion is going to come. So let's look at that again. Say it again. Um, let's see. And no, mar and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. That's as far as I'm going. Now, I mentioned before you guys on there that are on here, oh, welcome all my new friends and subscribers out there, but um, when I can feel the Holy Spirit coming on me, normally I, uh, the, the picture uh, glows. So here we go. <clears throat> and the room lights up. <clears throat> uh, daughter, speak of the coming judgment. I will awaken the sleeping plagues as judgment, judgment continues to fall on an unrepentant people. This is bad. Polio, a bubonic plague, if I say that right, a leprosy, and mutated viruses. I see evil taking control of minds and demon-possessed men and women on murdering sprees. There is no value for human life. Man's goal is to acquire wealth. I see unspeakable things done in the dark behind closed doors as my eyes roam the earth. Man will bring about his own tragic end as he continues in his quest for knowledge and enlightenment. There is only one true light of the world. Now man worships the imposter, Satan. Now I have that, I think, in two other uh, prophecies about the imposter. I have called you over and over to return to me and separate from the worldly and the world. Change your hearts and call on me. I am waiting. Okay. Okay, now, the angel of light. Now I read that verse twice. Let's look at this again. There's only one true light in the world. So what does a Satan do? He imitates. He's the imposter. That's what he's calling him. The imposter Satan. I've called you over and over and over to return. I love how he loves us so much. He's still waiting for people. Change your heart and call on me. So with changing your heart, you need to repent. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, you can read about that in the book of Acts, um, Acts 2.38. <clears throat> now, clearly, we're at the end. You see the wars on, on the news. And we have, and he's talking about here about more pestilence and um, uh, pandemics or whatever. Not pandemics. More pestilence coming. Okay, he's wakening the, um, the sleeping. Where is it? I can't find it. The sleeping plagues. And then I started, like I said, I started to hear what the plagues were. I was like, oh no, this is horrible. So you need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He should be on the top of your list of getting your house in order. Know Jesus. That's what it should be. Um, have an emergency plan. Put the news on. You see what's going on. Um, and I had the kids here on Sunday. They were all like upset over uh, seeing the news. I had to tell them, shut it off now. Don't keep on watching it all day long. Don't get alerts on it. It's too disturbing to shut it off. And you need to do this. 
Because then your mind is taking over with, I want to say, bad things and negativeness. You don't want that on your mind all the time. That's why, like I said, I don't even have the TV here. And when I did have the cable and the TV, um, everybody used to laugh at me because the only thing that would be on all day was the weather channel. That was it. So have a plan. Have some emergency cash on hand. Um, have um, extra supplies. You don't know what's going to happen. Now, I did look at a few of the um, the headlines of the war that was going on, and they were horrible. That's why I said to the kids, even before I saw today's uh, headlines of those, um, not to watch it. Shut it off. Um, what else did I want to mention? Uh, just like I said, uh, welcoming all my new friends and subscribers. I see again there's like three or 400 uh, new uh, people more on here. Um, uh, please uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and um, hit the notification buttons. I did look at that and said that a lot of people that were su were subscribed uh, weren't, weren't getting notifications. So please do that. This way you see or know if something is up and we have a, a message coming. Uh, and the, the Facebook pages, uh, if you're on there, please um, like and share our, uh, our videos on there because I'm still in, I don't know what they called it. It's not like Facebook gel, but they're not showing the videos. So please share them around. Um, because that helps us help other people with, um, so they know what's going on and we know clearly this is it, that we're at the end. Uh, what else did I want to mention here before I forget? Um, oh, my, uh, I saw on there, um, I think two, two little comments on there uh, would, uh, asking about an update on my mom. And, and this is like so sad. Now I can see out there, this is what I'm looking at. I love the spring and all the flowers. I can see the cherry blossom trees starting to bloom. They all have flowers on them. Um, so an update on my mom. Uh, she's in the nursing home, most of you know this. Um, she's uh, completely bedridden. Um, uh, she's, uh, I'm going to say, pretty much um, completely deaf. She can't hear, and then when we go there, uh, she can't see either. So now she's in really bad shape there. So the nursing home called me yesterday, um, and, and I was not happy with what they told me. I'm waiting for the doctor to call since yesterday. Um, they told me she lost a drastic amount of weight over the last 30 days. Um, she won't drink the water. Now, as soon as she stopped drinking the water, I think they should have called me and told me this. Um, she's insisting, that, now she has dementia, so she's insisting that the water is river water because the nursing home is on the river. Um, so they, um, she won't drink the, the uh, let's call it the river water. She won't drink the, um, the water in the cup. Uh, now, if they told me that, I would have went down there with um, some gallons of water, left them there so she could see that it's really spring water, that she's not drinking river water. And they also told me that she pretty much is not eating the food. Again, they should have called me immediately and told me this, that she wasn't eating the food so I could bring her things that she likes. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Um, um, for, for those new people on here, you probably don't know that um, I had a major stroke. I'm just going to run that by um, because I'm, I'm getting to the part here about the nursing home. Now, when I had the uh, major stroke, I was in the hospital, I want to say, for about a year altogether between the hospital, um, the um, nursing home, then the assistant living. So I know what it's like to be in there. Brother Dan didn't run around and get the condo built and get everything ready for me to come home. I probably would have died there. So thank God for Brother Dan there. If he didn't do that, I, I said, I said this straight up to the lady, the nurse that called me. I said, I know what goes on at the nursing home. I was there. You don't have to tell me or make up a story. I, I lived it. I saw how, how bad things could be. Okay, so now I'm starting to ramble. But anyway, God bless you all. Um, have a blessed and safe day. Um, if we're not back again um, before Resurrection, uh, Resurrection Sunday, have a happy day there. And God bless you. We love all you guys. Better go. All right. Did I forget anything? I hope I didn't forget anything. All right. Please get up. All right. We're done it. Right. We, we did it. All right. God bless you all. We love you guys. And have a blessed and safe uh, holiday.